Don't you love when you order a shirt and then all of a sudden, uh, I don't know, let me think. They give you a freaking two shirts? Can't beat that. I love that. And I'm not going to return it either. So uh, thank you, brand I'm not going to sponsor. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're doing another uh, Ask Elliot where you bring in your, or you don't bring in anything, but you submit your questions. It can be email, it can be uh, Facebook, comments in the YouTube, I don't care. I see it, I'm putting it in this damn video, okay? So we have four questions today that I'm going to go over and hopefully answer these women's questions with some quality answers. And we're gonna jump right in, okay? So number one, Valentina Moro. Okay, what can I do? He dated me for two months, then he dumped me saying he is not ready for a serious or he's not ready for a serious relationship. Plus, he still has issues from his past long-term relationship. Now he wants me for sex. You said take it slow and let him have his time. Maybe to heal from the past relationship. But now months have passed and he still isn't interested in me and except or except for sex, and of course I want him more than that. What I find strange is that he previously liked me for other things. Okay, there's several things going on here. I, first off, I don't think you understand the, and I don't mean this as an insult, right? Because I was the same way. Like when you like someone, you want that person, okay? You, and you kind of see it from like your perspective. And I just want to say that a couple months, several months, even six months, even eight months might not be long enough for a guy to get fully over a girl and to want a relationship, okay? I, it took me seven months to get over a, uh, a girl from my past, seven months, seven months, okay? And I've been through, you know, I, I, I've tried moving on from her, you know, girl, 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 tried moving on, going on these dates, it didn't work out, okay? It just wasn't the right, the right girls for me. I kept thinking about that other one. And uh, it wasn't until I met this really special girl which all it all came together, right? She was a really special girl. I was seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and seven months have gone by. So it's not like I met the girl, you know, month one. I would have been, I would have said no to her probably. But I started to see the light, and things got better, and I ended up starting to date her. Now the problem here is, he's straight up telling you right now that, he, you know, you he he dumped you. He didn't. He doesn't want a relationship. It's something because of his past, and now he's just wanting sex. So, here's the thing: him wanting sex tells me one of two things: that he's not over his relationship because he's a low ego man. Right? I mean, there's not. There's nothing wrong with a man wanting sex. Don't get me wrong. But when he's telling you what you want to hear, which I don't think he is, because he dumped you and basically, I mean, you told me what he's wanting. But if he's showing you that a hey, I'm not ready for a relationship I don't really want one but I do want to hook up then he's not over his past his past is affecting him in some way I don't want to say a low ego man he's just hurts okay or the other thing is maybe he just doesn't like you and he wants to hook up with you okay maybe it's one of those two things what I would do if I was you reach out one more time see i you have to know where exactly he stands and you have to or and he has to know where you stand don't lower your standards to keep him in your life that's the absolute worst thing you can do he'll walk all over you trust me don't do that okay and be straightforward with him tell him what you want if he can't give you that i know you don't like this answer because you probably already know the answer but what, like what are you going to do are you going to sit around and wait for the guy to uh you know, give you what you want and then he's never going to give it and then you realize you waited several months or wasted several months of your life and then what? You have nothing to show for it. So just do that. I, you know, I'm sorry that you got into this situation. This is a horrible situation. I wish you the best of luck, Con, but reach out, say what you got to say, see where he stands. And if you're on two different pages, then do not contact him. Tell him, to come back to me when he's ready for something, okay? Because you're more than sex. He knows that. You know that. But he's just not willing to give you what you want. Number two is from Care Bear. I love that. <laughs> Damn, I missed this. It's my live stream probably she's talking about. Which, hey, it's this Friday, so don't miss it. Friday at 12 p.m. Uh, mountain time am I now? Boise time. What if a guy who was supposedly really into you suddenly says he doesn't have time? 
the few weeks later says it was a misunderstanding. Do I give this guy another chance? I would give him another chance. Why not? You know, I mean, if if you like him and he comes back and he's really saying, "Hey, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I want another chance." Then I would give him another chance. Why? I mean, I mean, I mean, and let me. And I'm kind of biased with this, and let me say why. There's a girl I broke up with in my past, the one I was just literally talking about, and uh, the one who I dated after the heartbreak. And her and I broke up, you know, down the road impulsively. I dumped her very impulsively. And to this day, it was the biggest regret of my life. Okay? Now, is this going to be the biggest regret of your life or the biggest regret of his life? Probably not. But at the same time, here, here's the situation I see, or here's how I see the situation. He comes back. You, you know, I think you have some power if he comes back. It shows that he's interested. And it shows that he's, you know, uh, that you're valuable. He's coming back to you. So what I would do is, when he's coming back, hey, try it out. If it doesn't work out, then you know what? Worst case scenario, you're back in the situation you're in where you're not talking and you're going your separate ways, right? So there's nothing wrong with it. I'd give him another chance. Don't don't let ladies don't let your pride eat you up here and say, oh no, you don't you don't you know you weren't here at my best, you know, so, or you don't weren't here at my worst, so you don't deserve me at my best. You you gave up on me before. Don't don't worry about any of that shit. Okay, just just be happy, get with them if you want, and then go forward. Next question we have number three is from Sacrily Fry. What if it's been almost two months and he hasn't gone back to you? Should you text him back? Uh, I don't even think he's probably remembers you. No offense. Two months, hun. Two months is a long time, and I don't and I don't mean that as an insult, you know. But two months is a long time because I've been there and done that. And I feel like just because you are thinking of him or you are thinking of, you know, maybe thinking of him daily, nonstop, what this could have been. That does, that's your perspective, that's your perception. That doesn't mean he's thinking the same thing. He's probably off doing his own thing. Like, there's a reason he hasn't texted you in two months. There's a reason he hasn't texted you in two months. And the reason you're probably still thinking about him and you're wanting to text back is because of the scarcity of men around you. You're not in a, in a place of abundance. You don't have men at your feet or options. Or maybe this guy is just a super great guy, right? But you don't have all these options where you can say, you know what, that guy doesn't obviously care. He didn't. He doesn't want what I want. Obviously, he hasn't texted me in two days. I'm going to go with this guy. You don't have that option. Maybe you do, but I, I, I would argue you don't probably. But should you text him? You know what? Why not? Uh, we're going we're gonna to give happy answers here. Why not? Just text him. Worst case scenario, he says no or doesn't want anything to do with you and you're back in the situation you're in, just like Care Bear previously. Worst case scenario, you're back you know, where you started. But just know that, I, I just want you to know this though, like I'm not condone or con yeah, you know, telling you to all you ladies to reach out to guys who are like this. Just two months is a long time, hon. Like, I wouldn't even waste my time on this guy. If he hasn't reached out to you in two months, there's a reason why. He probably, ha hey, he probably has a girlfriend. He's probably married as fast as people go nowadays. <laughs> Something's up, okay? But that's just me. And finally, the last one. Scorpio875. And she asked, I need someone's opinion. Well, girl, you came to the right place. For a long-distance fling... When you feel him pulling away, but he, he says he's still interested, do you stop all contact or do you talk to him and end it? Here's the beautiful thing about that. The mind always goes to the path of least resistance. So it's easy to say, oh girl, I still like you. I still want you. I still love you. It's easy to say that kind of stuff, right? However, it's hard to keep that action up over time. That's why guys will tell women what they want to hear, but they their actions don't meet their words. And I'm looking at his actions. If he was interested, you would know. Obviously, he's bullshitting you. I would let it fade away personally and do its own thing. Actions speak louder than words. I think every woman should get that tattooed. I think everybody should get that tattooed when it comes to relationships. That is cliche, but that's the most honest and brutal advice. Like that's the most clear advice you can get. A guy's actions are everything. 
action over time, effort over time, okay? Like you, you have to, sh or a guy has to show that to prove to a woman, hey, I actually like you. Look, I'm doing this for you. Anyone can say something, but when they start to give up time, energy, money, and effort to court a woman, that's a different level. Anyone can say that. I can, I'm going to text a girl right now and tell her. So, I mean, I can just tell, I mean, you get what I'm saying? Like, I can say anything I want now. Hey, what's up, Susie? You find pieces of it. Yeah, I'm not, you know what I mean? So, you know where I'm going with that. With that being said, ladies, there you go. There's your four questions. Episode two of Ask Elliot. Like I said, we're going we're gonna to maneuver and mold and make it better over time. But I just wanted to put it out there. So, with that being said, I love you. Take care. And peace.